Hello guys, welcome to WebWorld Tech. In this particular video, we are going to talk about portals. What is portals? So basically, in a very generic term, portals is a seamless way of navigation in a web page. So let's ex let me explain this with an example. Any website which you have used recently has uh, different web pages in it. For example, it will have a home page where you are landing. Second page. It can be a search page where you'll have different product items which would be listed down there. You can have also a profile page where you can go and update your profile and all the sort of information. And also you can have a login page. So these are the basic stuff which any um, e-commerce website would have it. And in fact, others will also uh, can also have it. Now the thing is like uh, there are two kinds of applications uh, which you can think of currently is Either it can be a single page application or it can be a multiple page application. Now, single page applications are actually very good. It provides a seamless experience. The navigation between page to page is very fast, very quick, and the user gets a delightful experience. But there is a drawback in that. I would just uh, like to say in a very basic terms that building a single page applications is sometimes a bit trickier and it has its own man, uh, maintenance overhead on top of it. So compared to single page application, multi-page applications are much easier to maintain. It can be built very quickly. It is a debatable topic. So um, different people have different views on it because both the type of uh, development has its own pros and cons. So with portals, the, uh, we are trying to give a better experience in terms of multi-page applications also because in, in multi-page applications you will see when user is navigating from one page to another page there is a slight gap there is a delay it can be of a uh, one second or a three seconds something like that but there is a gap because the page has to reload from uh, completely in the browser in order to go to the new url and land it to a new screen new page so that is something which is not a good experience in, in, in terms of multiple age application. And with portals, we are trying to solve that issue. Now, let's understand in details. What is portals? In order to define it, portals are a new web platform proposal which aims to give seamless experience to our users while navigating from page to page in our website. Okay, so we have uh, discussed in brief that why do we actually need portals let's understand it in a more details and a, with a, a graphical representation so why do we need portals as we discussed earlier you have a home page you have a search page you might have a payment page if you are doing a, a website which which is related to transactions or something then you will have a payment page and a, a confirmation page that your payment is collected and your product is purchased you also can have sign in flow and uh, other different flows associated in your website now at this point of time you can see if it is a multi page application the page will reload from one page to another it will have a complete browser uh, reload of while going to the different url so this is the place we, uh, which, which does not give a better user experience and we are trying to uh, rectify it using portals. Let's see how we can do that. Now the next question which comes in your mind is, is portals available in all the browsers? So before going to that question, I would like to uh, tell you that this, this portals was something which was uh, announced by Google in uh, Google I.O. 2019 in the developers conference. And it is still an experimental feature. It has not been li uh, made live for all the versions of uh, Chrome uh, browser, or in fact, you can say in the other browsers also. It is just an experimental feature. If you want uh, to use it, you can definitely go ahead and register to it, and uh, uh, you register your domain basically, and use this particular feature. I'll guide you the, uh, with the steps that how you can register and how can you can start using this particular feature. Let's go to the next slide. So now the next thing is, is it available to all browsers? As we said earlier, no, it's not. It's currently, uh, it's an experimental feature which is uh, mostly expected to be available in Chrome 86 version, but uh, there is an option to register for this experiment uh, for your website and try it out. You can go to the link below, which is mentioned on your screen of the web dev, 
and get the more inner details regarding it and uh, there will be a link also provided i'll give in the last slide where you can go and register your uh, particular domain let's see the steps uh, involved in registering and using portals so to enable portals first of all you need to go to uh, this particular url which you can see on your screen chrome colon slash slash flags in this particular page you will see a list of uh, experimental features which are listed down you need to search for portals when you get that there will be a drop down on the right side just select uh, select it and make it enabled when you are done with this you can reload and check it it would have been already enabled so this is the first step which you should definitely see whether portal is enabled in your chrome browser and uh, then you can proceed with the experiment let's check the next part now after you have already uh, enabled this particular feature in uh, in your browser you need to check it out so when you write html portal element in your console you will be able to get this particular uh, function in return this will confirm that whether portals has been enabled in your browser or not so just check it out guys these are some few sample links which i have uh, told uh, which i have listed down here uh, it has been refer uh, referenced from the web dev so you guys can definitely go ahead and check it out all the good experimental features are listed down in web dev and uh, this hands on on portals also is there where you'll have a brief description about it some experimental samples are also there the first link which you see uh, for github there you will see the samples which are already provided you can go ahead and have a look there it's a very uh, good feature i would say to give a uh, very great user experience and a seamless experience to your audience and we all know that with a good experience the chances of growing your business or the chances of users traveling to your uh, inside your uh, website from one page to another page increases if you feel this information was useful please like and subscribe the channel Thank you.